program designed to make a difference in the lives of children. So the precipice of this program came about during um, when Alex was killed down in West Yellowstone. James Alexander Hurley, the 12 year old boy who was found dead in his grandparents home in West Yellowstone. You know the deputies and the detectives that worked on that case, um, that was a very difficult case for them and we looked at it from the sheriff's office perspective and said we, we don't want that to happen again in our community. And so the youth and family outreach program was formed. A grant was submitted and words became action. Take uh, these deputies out there, go find these kids that are um, might be endangered. Uh, maybe even if they're not endangered they just might be in some kind of a neglect. Something that the CASA program sees all too often. You know, no child deserves to be neglected. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. We advocate for abused and neglected children who are in the court system. In 2021, 154 children were served by CASA volunteers. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, there were 3,777 child victims in Montana in 2020. And in the case of Alex Hurley. I mean, that shouldn't happen, you know, and um, it's, it's infuriating, it is devastating. This program hopes to put deputies out in the community, meeting with families by connecting them with services before it's too late. Making sure that children have the opportunity to be successful in this community. And there are ways for the community to help. So we have multiple um, volunteer organizations in this community who work with children, uh, CASA being one of them. We are here to give kids a voice. We're not attorneys, but we're, um, we're giving these kids a voice and making sure that their needs and their best interests are at the forefront of, of every situation. Looking towards the future, James's grandmother, Patricia Batts, is the last of the family members to see trial. The question of the death penalty is still up in the air at this point. When the time comes, we will bring you to the courtroom. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.